Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 23 years old woman present with severe headache, photophobia and neck stiffness. A lumbar puncture is undertaken and cerebral spinal fluid is sent for microscopy and culture. Culture shows a growth of Neisseria meningitis. disease. What is likely to be predominant cell type in this cerebral spinal fluid? So first of all, let's analyze the question. A 23 years old man present with severe headache, photophobia and the neck stiffness. And for this lumbar puncture is needed and lumbar puncture is undertaken and this cerebral spinal fluid is sent for culture. And culture shows the Neisseria meningitis and this Neisseria meningitis is a bacteria. Now we have to find out the predominant cell in our bed body which may be present in the cerebrospinal fluid so in case of neisseria meningitis this infection in csf we have to find out the cell present in this case here the options options are eosinophils basophils macrophages lymphocyte and neutrophil so we have to find out on of the option or one of the cell which is present in the cerebrospinal fluid when it is infected by neisseria meningitis so here we can see in bacterial meningitis meningitis there is a neutrophil are typically present in the csf in case of acute bacterial meningitis or in case of acute case uh, except the viral case typically the cell presence in the csf is neutrophil not only in the csf but also the all other body fluid including the blood when there is bacterial infection there is neutrophils are typically present or neutrophil uh, count are raised on the other hand the viral meningitis lymphocytosis is said to be predominant that means in case of viral infection though it is acute but in this case the lymphocyte count increase but in case of bacterial infection first of all neutrophil increase it is not only for this csf but also all the other body fluid and organ also then clinically there may be overlap with neutrophilia occurring in some case of viral meningitis so in some viral meningitis there may be present neutrophilia with the the neutrophil uh, uh, count increase with the lymphocytosis and clinically there can be overlap with the neutrophilia occurring in the same uh, some cases of the viral meningitis and then in may bacterial meningitis the neutrophilia can be attenuated by the administration of the antibiotic that means if antibiotic is administered and after that csf is collected in that case the csf may be absent the neutrophil because the neutrophil is reduced due to using the antibiotic so here we can see uh, some other important topics uh, regarding the cerebrospinal fluids the cerebrospinal fluid it fills the space between the arachnoid matter and pia matter and this space is known as the sub arachnoid space so this information is also very very important that in which area the cerebrospinal fluid present it present in this sub arachnoid space And the total volume of the CSF is brain approximately is 150 ml. All the lines, all the informations are uh, very, very important for MRCS exam regarding the cerebrospinal fluid in some other questions. So the total volume of the CSF in the brain is approximately 150 ml. And approximately 50 ml is produced by the ependymal cell of the choroid plexus and also from the blood vessel. But majority portion is produced by the choroid plexus of the ependymal cell. Here we can see this is the 70%. So about 70% of the cerebrospinal fluid, it is produced by the ependymal cell and the choroid plexus of the ependymal cell. And it is uh, reabsorbed via arachnoid granulation with projection into the venous sinuses. Some uh, granulation, which is known as the arachnoid uh, granulation, this invaginate into the venous sinuses and through there or from there, the cerebral fluid is reabsorbed and entered into the systemic circulation. And this cerebral spinal fluid replaces in the brain from the 
lymphoid tissue because the lymphoid tissue are absent from the cerebral uh, cerebrospinal fluid but the role played by this csf Here we can see the circulation of the cerebrospinal fluid. First of all, the, from the lateral circulation, uh, from two lateral circulation, it enters into the third ventricle by a foramen, which is known as the foramen of Monroe. And from the third ventricle, it enters into the fourth ventricle by a duct, which is known as the aqueduct of the sylvius. Then from there, they enter into the subarachnoid space to the opening, which is known as the from an Magenti and from an Loska, and finally it reabsorbed with the venous system via the arachnoid granulation into the superior sagittal sinus. So it is in very short about the circulation. First of all, the lateral ventricle, and from the lateral ventricle, it enters uh, into the third ventricle, then fourth ventricle, then subarachnoid space, and from there they drain into the superior sagittal sinus. So it is the normal. Pathway. That means lateral ventricle, third ventricle, fourth ventricle, subarachnoid space, and superior sagittal sinus. It is the composition of the cerebrospinal fluid. Here we can see first of all, glucose, it is 50 to 80 milligram per dl, deciliter, protein 15 to 40 milligram per deciliter, red blood cell nil, white blood cell 0 to 3 cells per cubic millimeter. And this uh, last two option is very very important rbc that means the uh, red blood cell it is usually nil in the cerebrospinal fluid so the red blood cell it is absent from the cerebral spinal fluid this information is important another one white blood cell it usually zero to three cells per cubic millimeter so these two important from this slide is very very important so you have to remember it very carefully another uh, important point here that the glucose is usually more than that of the protein in the cerebrospinal fluid. So our final option is ready. It is the neutrophil because the neutrophil it present in the cerebrospinal fluid during the infection of the Neisseria meningitis. So when uh, CSF or cerebrospinal fluid is taken by the lumbar puncture and the culture in the microscopy. Uh, in the lab and uh, that shows the Neisseria meningitis in that case neutrophil present because it is acute bacterial case in case of acute bacterial case there is increased number of the neutrophil and lymphocyte it increase in the chronic case and viral infections and macrophages basophils and insulinophils they are not related to the topics thank you all